the reality is data science, machine learning, it's at the intersection of you know, four or five fields, maybe yeah. more. Uh, what I would really recommend to people that are starting data science and machine learning is, hi guys, um, I'm Nick, I'm a senior data scientist here at Workspot. Uh, my background's in uh, statistics and machine learning, and um, I spend a lot of my day working on recommendation engines. So when, I, when we decided that we'll do this interview, I uh, sent out questions to all the WhatsApp groups on uh, Python that we have, uh, Telegram groups, WhatsApp groups, Facebook. One, uh, a very unique photo. Uh, a person actually tweeted me this photo and asked me about uh, the opinion you have about it. It's basically how uh, people these days pursue machine learning or data science. Uh, and uh, the, the audience will see this photo on the screen. but. What do you think about it? It's like uh, people jump from Python directly to machine learning and they forget all the levels there are between these two. A, do you think this photo is accurate? Like, do you think it's correct uh, how things are going? Or do you think it's more of a, I mean, people are just making a big deal out of something and it, even if it is the case, it's okay. Uh, what, what is your opinion about this photo? Yeah, it's an interesting question. Uh, the reality is, data science, machine learning, it's at the intersection of you know, four or five fields, maybe yeah. more. And it doesn't matter from which direction you come from, yeah. uh, you'll always uh, feel like you never know quite enough. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And that's, uh, so if we relate that to my journey, I came from statistics and I, I've needed to understand computer science yeah. and cloud infrastructure and all this other stuff. Yeah. Um, and of course there's fields of, of machine learning that I haven't really explored that much, mm -hmm. uh, like computer vision. So there's a, there's a hell of a lot of things that I still feel I need to know. Yeah. And I think as a data scientist, you never quite shake that feeling of yeah, like okay. insecurity. Yeah. Um, but it also drives you to learn. So I, I definitely feel um, if we talk about, uh, say, as a beginner, wanting to implement all this stuff, there's yeah. like uh, layers um, you need to understand. Yeah, yeah. So you might, uh, you need to understand a little bit about um, uh, the, like the th the thin layer on top of machine learning, which is like, how do you construct a data set? How does a model ingest the data set? What are predictions? All those sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Once you understand that, and maybe a little bit of Python code, yeah. then you can uh, start using libraries online. Yeah. But then at some point, you might, uh, you do that a little, a little while, and then you realize, well, I don't, how do I know that this model is performing like I need it to? Yeah. So then you got to dive in a little bit like deeper. Build the onion exactly. like slowly and yeah. slowly. Yeah. You layer don't really have, so, would you recommend that you really don't need to start at the root, like learn maths, then learn calculus, then learn this, that, then machine learning? Because to be honest, I see a lot of people and uh, I think it's very common these days uh, in the way people are uh, educating themselves that they say when we do it like this, instead of jumping directly and getting dirty, we lose the motivation to actually do the thing that we always wanted to yeah, do. Yeah. It's like I'm, uh, there are machine learning courses on, uh, on the internet, uh, two weeks maths, two weeks calculus, two weeks uh, uh, like uh, data structures, yeah. uh, two weeks Python. By the time a student has reached the third week or the fourth week, the course for which he, like the reason for which he joined the course, which is machine learning, it doesn't even reach that place. Yeah, yeah. So, but then some say, if you don't do these things, what you would be doing, you'd be basically wasting your time or like it won't be as clear to you as it should be. Yeah. So which approach do you think is more correct? Like there cannot be one correct, like completely correct thing, at least I think. Yeah. But uh, what do you think is more correct? Mm. So I've experienced all of that myself. Yeah. Um, that, you know, you start a course, yeah. then uh, you start going and you start another course and, yeah. and then you just drop off. Uh, what I would really recommend to people that are starting data science and machine learning is uh, don't be overwhelmed by everything, yeah. but have some curriculum that you kind yeah. of follow. Keep it narrow, um, so maybe only start one course and yeah. make sure it's a course that uh, when, you, when you're beginning, there are a few like classic machine learning problems like classification, regression, clustering. You should understand those on a, on a high level. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, uh, I really advocate uh, project-based learning yeah so uh, you have some area that you're interested in and um, you find some article online or a data set or anything like that spend two weeks on that data set like Kaggle right yeah Kaggle is a good source okay and um, I think uh, you know they make the de uh, a lot of those data sets are publicly available yeah but then also on Kaggle you can review a lot of um, 
notebooks and other documentation that okay. people have put out there. And yeah. when you try and understand the data, when you read um, what other people have done, uh, you really get a deeper insight yeah. um, for how they're trying to solve the problem. So I would really suggest that. Have some curriculum because you do need to understand calculus and um, computer science uh, fundamentals um, to understand machine learning uh, and other things. But have some project on the side that kind yeah. of it keeps you motivated, it yeah. keeps you engaged. Like you have a clear objective where you want to reach and then you learn theory, practice, whatever. Yeah in order to reach that objective. So that is way more useful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and once you do, you get uh, three or four projects under your belt, mm. what you'll see is that um, there's a lot of similarities between different machine learning applications. Yeah. And learning a new application um, doesn't become as hard okay. because you've got a lot, of the, um, a lot of the fundamentals. There's now, okay, now I've just got to learn this type of loss function, or maybe I need to handle this new type of data or, or yeah. think differently in this way. Yeah. It becomes a lot easier to progress. Okay. So just get yeah, a project or two under your belt in these core areas, clustering, regression, um, classification, okay. that sort of stuff.